The main aim of this screencast is really to show the difference between a relative uh, cell reference and an absolute cell reference and how you can replicate formulas using both. Um, but there are a few other little things tied in with this. For example, um, if you want to display percentages, um, then we have to put that as a decimal. So this rate of VAT in the UK is currently 20%. So we'd enter that into Excel as 0 0.2, but we would need to um, just uh, click onto the cell here and change that um, to 20% by clicking the percent icon here. And then it's represented quite clearly as 20%. Now, if I want to work out the VAT on these different items here, what I would have to do simply is to uh, start my formula by pressing equals, click onto the £32 there, and then multiply that by the 0 0.2, the 20% there, which tells us that the VAT on top of that is £6.40. Um, I'd really want to as well really set those for currency and we can do that by highlighting all of those and then going to the currency uh, icon here and I convert that into currency for us there as well. Now what we've got here is a relative cell reference. It's relative uh, because uh, it hasn't got any dollar signs in there and what it means is that basically when I uh, replicate that formula the um, cell references within that formula increase relative to, to the direction that I have replicated that formula. So uh, as I move down, C3 moving down becomes C4, C5 and that's correct because the, the relative values are in C3, C4 and C5. However, the rate of VAT doesn't move from I2 into I3 into I4. It's always in cell I2. And so we want to make sure that the cell reference here is an absolute cell reference. So that when we replicate the formula down, so it remains absolutely locked on to that particular cell there. Now we can make it an absolute cell reference uh, in different ways. <coughs> the way that I do it is by clicking onto the uh, formula bar just here. If I press F4, function key 4, on my keyboard, and I keep pressing it each time I do that so it rolls through the different relative and absolute cell referencing like so. Now by having $i, $2 that means if I was to replicate it across or replicate it down that cell reference would always stay as being I2 and we can see that now. You can see these formulas here didn't work either because obviously the I3, I4 was put in and not the I2, or dollar I, dollar 2. So I press enter or return, it gives me the same answer again, but now if I replicate the formula down, we'll see that the correct answer comes in. Okay, so that's absolutely locked on to cell I2 with dollar I, dollar 2, but the C3, C4, C5 changes, which is what we want. Next, total cost, easy enough, it equals that plus that, press return, gives you my answer. I need these to um, move down as I replicate the formula down, so we need those relative cell references. So I can bring that down like so, and as we see, it works fine. So there we have it, okay, we've used the dollar symbol on our cell reference here for absolute cell referencing and we've used the standard cell reference here as a relative cell reference and that's it thanks